Jill Sowen, finalist in the Y10 Women's Saber event against who, Chelsea? Lola Posick. Lola Posick, again, your club mate uh, at, at Cobra. How many times is this that the two of you have met in the final this year? Like, a, a lot. <laughs> <laughs> a lot. You met in the final at, at Thrust earlier this fall. Um, did you meet at, in Rochester? Yes. In Rochester. Where else might the two of you have met? Um, at Capital, no, I'm sorry, NJFA and yeah, and at Cobra sometimes too. So how do you feel about, about constantly or consistently meeting your, your teammate Lola Posick in the final? I feel kind of well, I feel very, um, I feel like every time I fence her, it's going to be something new sometimes, and yeah. Well, why is it that you feel there's always the possibility for something new, given the fact you two train together every day? I think there's going to be something new because me and Lola, we have we progress each time we come to each, every tournament, so I think something new is always going to happen then. And what do you think's behind that? I, I've heard a lot from your coach, uh, Coach Ross, right? Yes. That that uh, not only does he have a lot of um, a lot of commitment to both you and Lola, but he's talked a lot about the dedication from you and Lola and how hard the two of you work. Yeah. So what what do you think it is that that uh, constantly pushes you and Lola uh, forward? Hmm. Huh, that's. Um... What constantly pushes me and Lola forward is, um, hmm. How about just you? What is it that motivates you to improve? What motivates me to improve is to every time when I'm at Cobra, to try and always fence Lola so I can see like every, anything new she does or it's that she still have the same thing and yeah, stuff like that. Now, Lola uh, at least was, maybe she still is, the number one ranked fencer, Y10 women's saber fencer in the country, right? Yes. Um, so with that, you and her going back and forth, how much confidence does that give you that you are also one of the top fencers in the country and every day training with one of the best in the country? Uh, it makes me feel, it makes, wait, can you say that again? Oh yeah, so how much confidence does it give you knowing that every day you're training with the best to help you improve and become the best? Uh, it helps me, well, it makes me confident because I can see, I can see where I'm do where I have um, pros and cons and I can see what I can change, what I can do more of, and yeah. So with, with uh, you know, a good tournament on the result side today, what made you feel really good about your performance and how you fenced? What made me feel really good is that usually when I'm fencing Lola, it's either probably like 10-4 or 10-5, and then today I'm trying to progress to like make it 10-8 or 10-9, and yeah, it's making a sudden touch. So how about on things that going back into practice next week or maybe going into tomorrow's Y12 Women's Sabre event, what types of things do you hope to work on and improve? What I hope to work on is mostly my um, attacks and not, not trying to fall short as much as I usually do. Yeah. All right. So how about as far as some of the feelings that you feel when you come up against your club mates or Lola specifically who you're also really good friends with what well I kind of feel like um, I feel very nervous because as I said earlier I don't know which way it's gonna go down and all right well congratulations on your results today and best of luck tomorrow Chelsea thank you